Hi, welcome back to Two Guys, One Beer. I'm Dan, that's Chris. Our guest, Alex Bono. You are like our three-peat guest. Am I the first one? You are the first three-peat. It's time. an honor. It it's is. It's a privilege. Well, we know that. <laughs> Whenever you get to another three-peat, we'll make, you know, make a new record. Get rings <laughs> or anything. <laughs> <Yeah. right? laughs> Uh, it, it'll be probably be like one of those candy ones. There you go. But it'll be huge. Yeah. Bigger than mine. Look at that. And it nice might disintegrate, pop. you know, if we, we can flavor the beer with it. Well, last time we had you on the show, we were actually at uh, 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 Zavaleta's house. Yeah. And uh, he let us try on that yes. beast of oh, a, yeah. of a ring, ring. But uh, that candy ring, it gonna, Tell you what. it gonna make it look like shiny. Next level. <laughs> right? It's much bigger. We got beer. We do have We've beer. We've got glasses. Let's do it. All right. Good pour technique from you guys. No, that's See horrible. if I can get there. Oh, got some head going on there tonight. I failed. We must have picked something hoppy. <laughs> this isn't hoppy. What, what do we have today? We have Lost Craft Summer Session Pilsner. I failed too, Chris. Yeah, well. It's, a it's been light. a while since like wait you didn't fail it. That's better not. Well, I got oh, a little bit left good. in here still. We, we all oh, we got the glasses tall boy. too right. small. We got yeah. tall boys. Yeah. Too. What are these pint glasses anyways? You know we got these great two guys one beer pint glass and they don't even fit a pint. I won't name the beer company, <laughs> but I bought their pint glass and then I bought their beer and the beer didn't fit in the glass. There I felt ripped off. Right. It, it wasn't. It wasn't lost crap though. I don't no, know. It, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay. I'd, so, I'm pretty proud of my pour, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very good. That's than, pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. failing. I'm going to leave and come back when that's ready to drink. <laughs> you did say, because, I mean, being a three-peater, you've had the glass for a while. I have had the glass. I do use it at the times that I choose to indulge You in probably beer. use it more than we do. <laughs> I highly <laughs> doubt that one. No, no, we have other glasses. Okay. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have more than one glass. Cheers. Cheers. I'm not even drinking. Good to see you. You as well. I like that. Yeah, that's all right. Yep. That is a summer drink. I like drink. that. Mm -hmm. Summer well, you, session. You know, I, I had I a couple options here, and you let me pick. I did. And this is the one I went with. One, it wasn't a sour. Yes. And two. Dan was very sad about that. Guava's tasty. It's, it. you know, for me, this is like the tastiest, most like beer-like true beer-like option for me. So yeah. we should have just got you a Budweiser, is that what you're saying? <laughs> I was just telling you, you know, college we said the 30 packs for 15 bucks. Right. And what do you think that was, you know? <laughs> too, too much Budweiser. It wasn't Lost Craft, I'll tell you that much. You know, for a dollar less, you could have got the Keystone. <laughs> and you know it's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> but and nobody we wanted to drink it. <laughs> Keystone, I don't even know what that is. You're Canadian. It's better that way. So, so am I, way. but I lived on a US border and well, on, I was broke on. as well. Honestly, I'm glad that I've been invited back for a third time, but I truly don't think that I can do any more of this episode with your hair looking like this. I've seen you at a game like this, uh, Finally, two games like this, and someone needs to tell you the honest truth that oh. it just doesn't work for you. I'm Thanks. sorry to have to be that guy, but. First you tell me when I shave my beard that, no. <laughs> And, and now true. I grow my hair because it wasn't coming near, and I couldn't grow a beard because this was here, <laughs> and it got. It's, um. I think it's time. Is it time? It's yeah. overdue. Yeah. It's been time for a while. <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> All right, and cheers. From, Let's know. get this hair cut. Let's, Let's go. do it. You're going to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Okay, so I was thinking a little off the side. Who <laughs> does your hair, darling? <laughs> you do. Bonesy. Yeah. You do. <laughs> the Bonesy Before, does the hair. <laughs> you know, so we've got these beautiful ponytails here that we're, of course, going to donate. Yes. Um, and I knew I was going to be, you know, I was doing my gardening before I came here, so I brought a tool that I might be able to use just to chop these. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I, <laughs> just I, to chop these ponytails off. I, I prefer these. Okay. Right. <laughs> so we're not going to use my gardening shears. We're going to go with the scissors. You ready? Yeah, man. It's a big moment. Let's do it. This side of the ponytail, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. Just hair goes everywhere. You go with Oh, my God. Na, 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 Can you feel na. it pulling? I do. Sorry. Na, na, I got the kitchen na, shears na. instead. There's a lot of hair here. Holy crap. There is a lot of hair there. We're getting through it. That's one side, maybe. Nope. Thank God it's finally oh. getting done. Wow. 
Okay, there's one. You didn't even ask if I wanted a oh. shampoo or, <laughs> and a massage. This, this, isn't an, this isn't an all services haircut, all right? <laughs> We're cutting this junk off your head. I love the idea that this is getting donated. There's no other way to do it, really. We That's didn't want to leave it in your front yard. Now that'd be a waste. <laughs> it makes sense to donate it. You know, it, it, it ties in well with the, uh, uh, what is that, uh, uh, kick children's cancer. cancer. Yeah, there's that new lovely jersey that uh, you guys will be wearing for warm-ups. I was going to say, what were you saying about that jersey? I love it. Oh, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. It's a great cause. So, were you guys like taking care of each other's uh, hair during COVID, Alex? Oh no, Richie, um, Richie Larea, who of course had spent time in Orlando previously. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get right there. Yeah. Uh, Richie Larea spent time in Orlando prior to joining us in Toronto. Yes. And um, he, of course, had a barber down there. Thank you. Ah. Richie had a barber down there that he hooked us up with. Nice. Um, and it worked really well. Come every couple of weeks. And that was that. By the order of the fucking Peaky Blinders. Well done, Alex! <laughs> well boy. done! Cheers to that. Cheers to that. <laughs> we did it. We did it. It's you gone. did it. Thank you. It's gone. Oh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, three pounds lighter. Yes. <laughs> my belly is still the same size. <laughs> That's what I have to work on next. It's, a, yep. it's the beer. Thoroughly appreciate you doing it. Um, like I said, we are donating the hair uh, uh, to put a smile on some child's face, maybe two, because it was a shitload maybe of hair. Maybe three, there's a lot of There's a lot in there. There's a lot of hair. Um, before we go, again, thank you. Yes, Alex. Thank All the best so for the rest of the season. Thank you very much. Next season, every season. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, we love you, we love having you, and we love drinking a beer with you. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers.